Okay, today we get to do a review of the Unitec Aluminum USB 3.0 to SATA3 dual bay external hard drive docking station with offline clone function. So, as you can see, I've unpacked this already. Included, you get a little thank you note from Unitech, and it also encourages you to go to Amazon.com and go ahead and leave your own unbiased review. Included, you have a user manual. You will receive a USB 3.0 super speed cable. This will be used to connect your dock to your computer, although you can not use that if you prefer, and you can actually just plug this in, and it will be a standalone clone. We'll go over that in a second. Cable, as you can see, it's a very nice, thick cable. Um, I don't think you're going to have any issues with this whatsoever. Again, these are the fastest cables here when it comes to the USB 3.0. These will support speeds up to 5 gigabytes per second. You will receive your power adapter to plug in your unit. This one here is rated at 1.2 amp draw as a max, and it will output 12 volts at 3 amps. And here you can actually see the unit. You have your actual button here to begin the cloning. On the bottom, you have your uh, typical word in here. It shows the model number, the Y3026. It is ROHS compliant. On the back side, you'll see your USB 3.0 super speed port to connect to your computer should you wish to do that and use it as a docking station. DC 12 volt input and your on off button. Very easy to use. And on the bottom, you actually have four rubber feet. This will keep it from sliding around. Very sleek unit, has a nice beveled edge. And again, it's a nice aluminum design. These top two pieces of plastic here, these actually go down so you can use two different kinds of hard drives. This will support the laptop hard drive size of the 2.5 inch, as well as the larger uh, hard drives of the 3.5 inch, which would be like your towers and such. This is the box that it comes with. Again, it shows that it is 6G serial SATA compatible. Um, each drive, it will support up to 6 terabyte drives. Huge. Um, 5 gigabytes per second, USB 3.0. You have the offline clone feature. Here, it just gives you an example of the speeds. Um, so you have one USB 3.0 to SATA 6G dual bay aluminum docking station. You'll receive the USB data cable the power adapter, and the user manual. Um, so if you use this and you're doing a hard disk connection to the PC, the speed, 405 megabytes per second. If you're going on offline clone function, hard disk 1 to hard disk 2, and assuming you're using 128 gigabyte data SSD drive, your transfer time would be 4 minutes, 15 seconds, and the speed would be 485 megabytes per second. On the back here, it just reiterates the different features here as far as the LED lights, which I'll go over those in a second, your ports, and again, that it supports all 2.5 to 3.5 inch SATA hard disk drives. Okay, um, one other thing to note here, it will support SATA 3, 2, and 1. This is also backwards compatible with USB 2 and 1.1. So again, if you have an older hard drive or you're operating at an older port for USBs, it will actually function on those as well. I'm going to go ahead and connect it here. And it's simple as plugging in. Now, I have two different types of drives here. This is your typical 2.5 inch drive. Um, you'll probably see these in your laptops and your portable devices. I don't know if you can see that, but inside you'll have a connection, and this will actually just go in and lock into place. So you don't have to do anything special. You'll see that this actual light will come on, and it shows that it's actually reading that. I also have a larger drive here, and I'm not sure if you can see that, but in that little bit of time, 
no drivers, no installation needed. Let's go on ahead. It's auto recognized that there's a docking station here. Picked up that that's a drive O added to the system of 684 gigabytes. This drive here is my one terabyte Western Digital Black. And if you look, this is why these plastic pieces here will slide down. So you can use both the small ones or the large ones. Again, that's all you need to do. You need to just push it in. And again, that's showing hard disk is now in B. And as you see, if they blink, that means that they're reading. Now hard disk B is now already showing up. That is labeled uh, hard drive P on my computer. This one here is showing up as the full one terabyte. Um, it never shows the full size of a hard drive, no matter what size it is, because there's internal files needed and used for drive operation. So this will show up as a 931 gigabyte drive. So again, it's hot swappable, which is what I like. It's very easy to use. I mean, again, it was as quick as that was, I can go ahead and do that. Now, if you are looking to do uh, let's see. Well, first, this would be a great feature if you're looking for a dock. You can access each drive. You can mix files around. Uh, you can move files from A to B. But now let's just say we wanted to do an offline clone. You can actually disconnect this from the computer because you don't even need that. And whenever you do that, there's a button on the front here, and that would be for your cloning feature. So if you'd want to do that, now I press that, and it's already started the procedure. And on here, you'll see actual LEDs. And as this starts to clone, these lights will actually light up blue as the drives cloned each other. So again, um, you'll see eventually, and I can't keep the camera on that long um, due to the review size, but again, you'll see a little pie graph here. This would be a quarter of the percent, half of the percent, three quarters, and when the drive is fully cloned, all four, and this fourth light will come on. Again, it's very easy to use. Again, you just, it's a simple press of a button offline. You don't have to worry about it. Set it and forget it, as they say. So again, this is a very decent unit. Um, you do not have to have it connected to the computer. Um, as you can see, it operates on the 3.5-inch disks, the smaller disks, SATA 1, 2, 3. It's backwards compatible with... USB 3.0 backwards to the 2, backwards to the 1.1. Obviously, if you would connect this uh, to a port that is lower than 3.0, you are decreasing the speeds. Um, so again, overall, it's a very nice unit. Um, the instruction manuals here, very straightforward. There's not much. It goes over all your features again, how to clone. And again, it's a very quick cloning, and it's very reliable. And as far as cloning, you may be wondering, well, why would I need the clone? Um, I would highly recommend getting an extra hard drive the same size as the one your computer. Um, me personally, I like to clone my drive every month, and that's for backup purposes. Um, I keep one drive in my computer, it has all my important files, my pictures, and all those files that I just want to keep forever. If a problem would happen with my computer, I want that backup. I want a cloned hard disk that has the same contents as my computer somewhere safe in a safe. So again, if there's a house fire, something happens to my PC, I didn't lose all those pictures that I can't replicate. They're all safe. They're on a perfectly cloned drive. And again, if something happens, I can get a new drive and I can clone the other drive. And again, it's a great way to back up your files. It's a perfect docking station. If you want to add one or two hard drives to a computer, you can use it that way. And again, it's a nice, sleek aluminum design. And this will certainly uh, meet all your features and more.